It's Monday, 6th of August, and you're back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam. The infrastructure sector is in trouble. Lack of clarity in government policy and procedural hurdles are slowing the growth in this sector and hurting the economy as a whole. Vikram Ilmaya, Deputy Managing Director of uh, IDFC, joins us to take stock of what's going on in the infrastructure space. Vikram, thanks so much for joining in. You're the largest lender in this space. Uh, what, to your mind, are the pressure points right now? The infrastructure uh, project business is, uh, is clearly, has clearly slowed down, but it is a mixed bag depending on the sectors you look at. So, for instance, in um, thermal power, which is basically coal and gas-based power projects, those have come to a standstill. There have been no new projects that have been planned for, for over 12 months now. But in the renewable space, we are seeing activity. We are also seeing uh, incremental activity in the transmission space. So within the power sector, while thermal power is slow, there are other parts of uh, the power sector where we are seeing some activity. The road program clearly has picked up steam, and there have been several projects that have been bid out. So that's broadly uh, what's going on in terms of the core infrastructure sectors. Uh, the opportunity uh, is quite large in uh, railways and urban infrastructure, but unless uh, we get our act together in trying to figure out how the private sector can participate in these areas through um, frameworks for PPP, et cetera. Uh, these will continue to just be, you know, large potential areas for uh, growth and uh, private sector participation, but real tangible participation is quite low from the private sector. Vikram, uh, interest rates are not uh, cooling off. Uh, at these rates, is it feasible for products to be taking off? Are interest rates playing a key role at all? My view is um, what we're seeing in terms of slowdown and um, a reduction in uh, risk appetite and, um, you know, the sentiment being low, etc., has really nothing to do with interest rates. It has more to do with the fact that execution challenges and the fact that uh, the trust between uh, government and private sector seems to have been shaken up uh, because of a whole host of issues that we're all aware of. <clears throat> so for that, for sentiment to return, I think uh, the private sector needs to be uh, more convinced that some of the execution challenges will get sorted out. We're not seeing much of uh, private sector investment spending at all, um, Vikram. Are you seeing demand for loans for new projects? Are you open to lending to them in an environment like this? We are uh, open and willing to fund infrastructure projects, provided the risk is, a is appropriately understood and boxed. So, as I said, uh, there are new projects that are coming up that we are also involved in financing, uh, but they happen to be in areas that I outlined. So, there are, there, there are new projects coming up in roads, there are new projects coming up in transmission, there are new projects coming up in renewables. Um, there could be some additional uh, project activity in ports. So, all these areas have new projects coming up as well. In addition to uh, you know, refinancing projects that are now operational and generating enough cash flow with uh, visibility of uh, cash flows going forward, uh, which tend to get uh, financed at, at more attractive rates. So that, that is certainly a part of the activity. Just a word on your bad loans, Vikram. You know, almost all PSU banks have seen a spike in bad loans. How is it that bad loans at IDFC have remained at below half a percent of advances? You know, even as far as the uh, NPAs that have been uh, announced by some of the other banks, uh, those have more to do with corporate exposures, not really infrastructure-related exposures. So I haven't really seen um, announcements of large NPAs in infrastructure per se. I mean, there are some very large projects such as, uh, uh, you know, Lavasa or some of these other projects which, uh, which have run into trouble uh, because of environmental issues, et cetera, to which we really have no exposure. Uh, some of the other areas where some of the banks might have exposure that we again have no exposure to is uh, are, the, uh, are the new entrants into telecom whose uh, licenses have been cancelled. So some of these areas that are facing difficulty and challenges from a policy perspective and uh, approval perspective uh, we don't really have any exposures to some of those names or uh, some of those areas. But more generally, as I said, the NPLs that you've seen, whether it's from the public sector banks or others, uh, haven't really been uh, infrastructure related. I haven't really come across large infrastructure NPAs that have been announced by, uh, by any of the banks. One last question, Vikram. You know, your uh, other businesses, your capital market related businesses, uh, be it AMC or the securities arm, 
their contribution to your profits have been dropping. Uh, is there a greater focus on the lending business? Is it a conscious move to get away from these non-core businesses? Well, I, you know, obviously, as we've said before, our model is really um, a mix of interest and non-interest income revenues such that on a blended basis, the ROE to shareholders could be attractive. Now, there are challenges uh, from a capital markets perspective that we're all aware of. And so till uh, sentiment recovers and investments recover and uh, markets recover, those areas will continue to see pressure. Um, that by no means indicates uh, anything to do with uh, our uh, strategic uh, focus on, the, on these businesses. These continue to be important businesses for us long term. And I'm sure as markets come back and sentiment comes back, uh, the revenue contribution from these businesses will pick up. Vikram Lilmai, many thanks for joining us uh, in business. Uh, IDFC stock is up in trade today. Coming up next, we talk to Shailendra Bandari of uh, ING YC Bank on macros and asset quality concerns in the banking space. Back in business in two minutes.